Right now, Senator Joni Ernst is traveling back from Israel after meeting with Israeli leaders, including Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. And the visit wraps up Ernst's tour of the Middle East with a small group of congressional leaders. KCCI chief political reporter Amanda Rooker joins us with what Ernst learned while in Israel. Amanda. Well, Stacey, Ben, Ernst says the visit was originally planned to support peace in the region and deter Iranian aggression from threatening Americans. Her staff tells me she met with family of kidnapped Israeli civilians. You can see video of that meeting from her staff right there. Ernst also met with Israeli leaders as well as both Israeli and American civ civilians following Hamas's attacks. During her visit, she says she reaffirmed the United States support for Israel. In a statement to KCCI, Ernst says she's, quote, horrified by the loss of innocent life in Israel spurred on by Iran and its terrorist proxies, that the United States, quote, must not back down from holding Iran accountable and that she will continue working to foster security in the region and protect Americans from extreme terrorism. Now, Iowa Representative Marionette Miller-Meeks was also on an earlier leg of the trip through the Middle East with Senator Ernst, but Miller-Meeks got called back to D.C. for a House Republican conference on Monday. She was in Saudi Arabia on Saturday as the Hamas attacks unfolded in Israel, and she received classified briefings on the violence and spoke with leaders about how the U.S. could help promote peace. That actually was unfolding shortly after we arrived in Saudi Arabia, uh, meaning the uh, Hamas attack uh, on Gaza and in Israel. Uh, the numbers of hostages, the numbers of Americans, the numbers uh, of people dead, what happened to women and children. I think they were very important meetings, very important sh for the United States to just, uh, show their support of those countries uh, willing to normalize economic relationships with Israel and how important we think that is uh, going forward in order to have peace in the Middle East. Now, as of right now, 22 Americans are now confirmed dead as a result of the war in Israel. The U.S. says they're still working on options to get Americans safely out of that region, while additional U.S. aid is moving into place. Stacy, Amanda, thank you.